I'm here at Faith Church St. Louis, right here in Earth City, Missouri. And uh, last night we completed session two in the annual International Conference for Higher Ground International Ministries. I'm here with my friend and my mentor, man I love so dearly, Apostle Leo Spencer Lewis. Last night, Apostle Lewis delivered an apostolic message that I believe catapulted Higher Ground International Ministries to the next level. He ministered under such a heavy anointing. Things were so powerful. Those of you that have witnessed the ministry of Apostle Lewis know he's just, just, just inundated with the power of God. Bishop Lewis, I just want to get a few key points that you utilized in the message last night. You really spoke to our hearts, Bishop, and I really appreciate you being here with us. Just give the viewing audience just a few of the major points you covered last night. Well, I, I, when we understand ministry, we understand the, the rationing, the rationing of genes, the rationing, the throwing out prophetically of insight and wisdom, generationing. And so if there's no generational understanding from the fathers to the sons and from the sons to the sons, uh, then of course we have a, a one dimensional ministry and one that's short lived. I think that uh, because of the American church, we have a Westnocentric concept of the kingdom of God. There's been a, a meshing of a, of a synthetic mindset and it has infiltrated truth and negated the veracity of truth where we think that God is an American, that God is a Republican, that God's a Democrat, that God's a Pentecostal. No, God's God. He has his own kingdom. He legislates it and uh, he has a government. And I think that because, because of our dwarfed uh, sightedness, uh, our inability to see beyond the physicality into our real reality, oh glory, which is our spirituality. I think that sometimes we, we grasp temporal things and then we connote the grasping of temporal things to success in God, wow. which is not so, you know, because they're, they're, they're martyrs that, are, that have died without graves, families that have given their lives for this gospel. Who, who, who had no airplane, no yes, Cadillac, yes. you know, no appreciation, but loved God with every fiber of their heart. And, I, and, and what I'm saying, Bishop, is that there is a judgment in the church. There is a, a, a swift judgment in the church. And, uh, but that judgment comes because God wants to purify his church for this next move, which you have a part of, you and higher ground. Oh, awesome, yeah, Bishop. Yeah. yeah, and last night, Bishop, one of the things that I really grasp out of the message mm -hmm. is the fact that a lot of contemporary preachers, pastors especially, mm -hmm. are limiting their success to the physical trappings yes. that comes yes. with it. I mean, we think that success is clothes, homes, cars, jewelry, and even the size of your congregation. Yes. But yes. what you was trying to share with us tonight, man, our true success, Mm -hmm. It's just accomplishing the will of God in our lives. Is that what you was trying to say to all of us Absolutely. last night? Absolutely. Anna stayed in the temple, no armor bearer, and she birthed in the heavens the Messiah through prayer. Successful, you know. Um, Elizabeth, with a barren womb, you know, uh, believed the word of the Lord and, and birthed the forerunner. And she was extremely successful. Very powerful, Bishop. Yes, yes. yes so, so Bishop, let, before we leave today, we just have a few seconds left. What I'd like for you to do, and I know that there's going to be a lot of pastors that will watch uh, this video, I, I would like for you to pray yes. for all of the pastors that are out there because a lot of the younger pastors, Bishop, they're, they're considering their success based on some of the things that you spoke to us about. Can you just look into the camera and pray for the pastors that are out there that the Lord will move them to the proper mindset they need to advance the kingdom of God? I pray the Pauline prayer that the, that the Father of glory might grant unto you and to myself. I pray that the cataracts and the blindness to the reality of this upside down invisible kingdom. A kingdom that's everlasting, whose 
that has government. I pray that illumination would be born in your spirit, man and woman of God, that you'll see the unseen, hear the unheard, that there will be utterances from the Holy Spirit that are unlawful for mortal man to utter. Oh God, let them understand in a revelatory fashion that to reign with you, they must first suffer with you. There is a way that seems to be right, but the end there is death. Father, grace them every ministry gift, every apostle, every prophet, every evangelist, everyone in the ministry of helps. Give them a grace to operate from the core of their call and their strength is in the nucleus of their gifting and their assignment. Let them, Lord, to understand that the anointing is not enough for the glory is in fact their wall of defense. I pray a glory wall on every ministry gift that hears this telecast. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hey, you heard it from Apostle Leo S. Lewis. Man, he's an awesome man of God. Those of you that would like to have him come to your church or conference to minister, man, you can contact me. I'll get you his information. Man, he delivered, again, a wonderful word to us last night and ministered under such a prophetic and anointed ministry last night and let me tell you something man this ministry high ground international ministries will never be the same hey we got two more nights for our conference want you guys to be a part of it and for me here at faith church st louis remember god wants to take you to higher ground